Paint Chevrolet in Springfield. Nine decades, three generations, one tradition. I got what I asked for at Paint Chevrolet. That's the honest truth. I'm here with uh, Robertson County Mayor Billy Vogel. Uh, over on the right, you can see we've got Mayor Ann Snyder for the city of Springfield. We also have representatives from the Emergency Management Agency. As you can see, they are maintaining the six-foot rule, and uh, they've each got their own statements they like to make. We're going to start with Mayor Billy Vogel. Okay, good afternoon, Robinson County. On March the 12th, our governor declared a state of emergency. In this state of emergency, he had 10 or 12 provisions, and you all well know that it includes gyms and restaurants and all, and Mayor Snyder is going to say something about that. What I want to tell the citizens is that the mayor of Robs County only declares a state of proclamation for the unincorporated areas of Robson County. Jim, I want the people to know that when the, the governor made his state of recreation, that's when the, epi uh, the epidemic became a law about the misdemeanor C. The mayors and city mayors had nothing to do with that, but when we do our proclamations, it's based on what comes off of his desk. And I, I feel safe to say that he doesn't want to see businesses shut down. It doesn't have anything to do with the industrial or anything like that. I know he doesn't want to see people lose their businesses and go to jail. I think this is we, what he's trying to do is ask people to stay a distance, not let more than 10 people in the room, and practice sanitary conditions. And I want the people of Robs County to know that he is being besieged by phone calls and everything about this, just like I am. I want you to rest assured and not panic and, uh, and listen to good information, good information like on Facebook and stuff like that that may not be true. Check it out before you get in a panic about it because this is a trying time and I want everybody to know my office is here. And what I wanted to talk about is my department heads. They're doing a fantastic job. They're, they're working half staff because if I work a full staff and one of them gets quarantined, then the whole office gets quarantined. So to keep the county business going, they're meeting you in the parking lot. They're doing whatever they can to meet your needs and I'm very proud of them. Now I'm gonna let Mayor Ann Snyder of Springfield say what she's got to say is she's gonna talk more about the city business. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mayor? Good afternoon. Thank you, Smokey Barnes, for getting the news out to everybody in Robertson County in Springfield. I extended the emergency declaration on Wednesday. It will go through the end of the month. What does that mean for the city of Springfield? I want to let you know it allows the city to suspend rules, regulations, and ordinances regarding the city services and directing the city affairs. What has that done for you as a citizen of Springfield? Credit card fees, late fees, and disconnecting fees has been suspended until further notice. If you are needing information about the city of Springfield, please go to www.springfield-tn.org. That's where you get the real information about the city of Springfield and not rumors. There's lots of rumors going around on Facebook. I also want to let everyone know that the city parks in Springfield will be closing the playgrounds and the park pavilions as of one o'clock today for the safety of our citizens. We need you to maintain this social distancing so that we can get past this virus and go back to regular business. Now, that is in our city parks. We are not closing the dog park and tennis court unless social distancing is not being done in those parks. But as of one o'clock, playgrounds and the park pavilions will be closed. Thank you. Thank you, Ann. And now, uh, representative from the Emergency Management Agency. Jim, I'd like to introduce my director of the EMA, Chance Holmes, and his assistant, Amanda Porter. All right. All right. Uh, good afternoon, Robertson County. My name's Amanda Porter. I'm the deputy director here for the county for the EMA. We are here to brief you a little bit about what our county has been doing in the emergency management field. So for us, we help assist and run the IC command structure from the county down, whether it be the hospitals, the county health departments, the fire departments, um, EMS, and the county government. We also are in charge of all ordering for our personal protective equipment for our county, um, for the responders, for the nurses, the doctors, um, anyone that is in need for our personal protective equipment. We've also been working close with the National Guard. Uh, we have put in a request for over 30,000 different types of different personal 
protective equipment. We have roughly received in around 6,000 different items of personal protective equipment throughout the county. This will go to the health department, the hospitals, our emergency services, and the fire departments, along with the county departments that still have day-to-day -day operations. Uh, we are asking the community to, like everyone else has said, stay clear of people at least six feet. Uh, pay attention to your local government's information. Um, they have a lot of great information on there that we need to know about. Uh, check your temperatures on a daily basis. Make sure you're staying within screens. Um, make sure you sanitize well and uh, just keep up the good work. Roberts County, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ann Snyder has one thing she'd like to add. I would like to make sure that everyone knows that we have not issued curfews. We've had a lot of phone calls today about that in the city of Springfield and Robertson County. Yes, we did a uh, little story on that. I guess it was a prank. It is a prank. Yeah. Right. You know where to find the news. Spring, www.springfield-tn.org for the real news. And Smoky Barn news. And Smoky Barns. If you're looking for new furniture, there's no reason to drive for miles. Stuart Williams Furniture is conveniently located in the heart of Springfield on Memorial Boulevard with over 30,000 square feet of fine furnishings. We have over 90 years of experience and carry major brands like Ashley, Lazy Boy, Lane, Hillsdale, Frigidaire, and many more. Our friendly professional staff is ready to help you with all of your questions. We know the importance of finding the right price in the right wood, color, fabric, and design. We also offer financing to make your purchase a little easier on your budget. Are the kids in need of a new bed? Maybe dad needs a new recliner to unwind after a long day. Or is it time to spring for that new flat screen TV you've always wanted? We guarantee competitive prices, the best brand names with professional delivery and installation. So remember, at Stewart Williams, customer satisfaction is our top priority. So come see us today.